I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. My fish love eating frozen food, but there's more to feeding frozen food than just taking it out of your freezer and plopping it in your tank. I'm here with Larry DuPont from LRS Foods. Larry, you're here to give me some great tips around feeding frozen food, including something that I would have never thought of. Just a couple things that always come to mind, Mark, when we're talking with our customers is a lot of people take for granted the dangers and the pitfalls of taking their food from the local fish store to their home and they don't go prepared. So if the food sits on the front seat of the car on a hot summer day and it's a 30 minute drive and the food falls out, when it gets frozen again, you know, it can deteriorate the food because of the swelling of, as the ice crystals form in a residential freezer. So an easy way to fix that is when you're going to the local fish store to buy your food, whether it's, you know, any brand you like, PE Mysis, LRS, Kakari, Ocean Nutrition, go to the food store or the fish store with a, a little bag or a thermos like this, small little cooler, put your fish food in there, take an ice pack from home, stick it in there, and this will help maintain the integrity of the product all the way back home. So if you know you're going to stop at the fish store after work, try to go in advance, put one of these in your car, try to get an ice pack, maybe the local fish store will give you an ice pack. At the very least, wrap up the food in newspaper or do something to prevent it from thawing out. So you don't want it to thaw out at all, ideally. Correct. Keep it cold. Keep it cold. Okay, so then once I get it home, put it in the freezer, but now it's feeding time, then what? Yep, once you get it home and you're feeding your fish, take the food out of the freezer, put it in some water if you're gonna thaw your frozen food that way, Try to get it into the tank promptly as soon as it thaws. A lot of people will take food, leave it sit in the refrigerator for four, six, eight days, particularly with our product. I don't recommend that at all. Um, at that time, you know, things start to deteriorate rapidly, even though it is in the refrigerator. So only thaw out as much food as you can use at one feeding. And more importantly, when you get your food out of the freezer, get it back into the freezer. So don't let it sit on the counter. Don't text message, go on Facebook. If a flat pack of food starts to get condensation in there and then when you put it back in the freezer you start to get a lot of ice crystals. So I also recommend putting a second freezer Ziploc bag around a flat pack of food, seal it off, burp all the air, it keeps it much fresher longer. And one of the biggest questions I get asked, I took my food out at dinner time, forgot about it, watched TV, woke up the next morning and it sat out all night. Is it safe? Absolutely not. If it gets yeah. up above 50 degrees, bacteria can start to grow, it's not worth the risk. So I always advise if the food gets up above to where it's warm to the touch and you forgot about it, just scrap it. I mean, it's not worth risking your tank over the price of the pack of food. Sometimes food's been in there for a while, it gets freezer burn. Is it okay to feed food that has freezer burn? Um, it really just means that your freezer has sucked a lot of the moisture out of the food. So there may be a small detrimental effect on the food, but... Um, ideally, you don't want to do that. Ideally, if you can prevent it, it's best to prevent it. That's why we recommend Good double bag. bagging. Great, man. These are things I would have certainly never thought of when I'm feeding frozen food. The good thing is I'm already doing some of them. Now I can do all of them. Thanks for the quick information, man. Of course, keep up the good work on the food. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. Thank you.